the classic one for the Spectrum, not something you'd heard of, but if you were into games of old days like me, you probably would know this one very well. It's uh, one of the ones that started the whole game industry, as a matter of fact. What you'll notice is the blue outline of the design of this particular cassette. It's unusual in that way because most of them was just kind of pretty standard black. This thing is the thing that was used in the um, in the loading of computer programs into the computer's memory. One of the main ones that was for people who couldn't afford the real thing, which was normally a hard disk drive, that was the thing before hard drives, which are now what everybody uses. This is for people who are a bit poorer and could only afford the cassette way of doing it. I'm going to be putting this thing in here. feeding kind of a process. What this means actually is the computer is getting its food because obviously machines need data to work. That's what they process, that's what they live on. We just they just look the same as us really, but they eat data instead of food and organic vitamins that we do. On the computer itself you have to type a command that in much the same way as you would load something on your Windows by clicking on an icon on the file explorer or on the start menu on the the action bar or whatever it's called you type commands into the computer itself which is quite one of the funky old school things about it on the cassette the command is this command chain so this is what the computer is being fed looks like what it's saying there is it's read this particular bit of data I'm not sure they've got numbers they've got uh, some sort of meaning to it blocks or something, I've never understood them what we've got here is basically a four colour code that I'm supposed to look up this is the thing that you get I'm supposed to go through that and find out which cell reference was the colours of four sequence colours of that particular cell reference on the, on the spreadsheet Finally got that set up. This is a square on view of the of the um, modern day technology screen. What, what you've got here is the game with this little kind of semi-irritating background noise that I always had to show off anyway. Is um, the demo of all the levels of the game to give you like a sort of a go ahead, you know, go for it, like, you know, go for it and try and win. This is the first one. Finally, get out of business. Yeah, I mean, straight away, I mean, what's clear here, which is annoying, really disgusting, is how slow it is, I mean, but, you know, the difference is, you know, and it flickers, you know, horribly, you know, I, I can't believe it, really, it's, it's, it's shocking, embarrassing, really, to be honest, but, um, you know, what, what you don't get, of course, is the, 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 the minor guy changing colours as he goes over the platform, like he did on the Spectrum, that's about the only good thing about it, really. Um, so everything really is pixel pixel, you know, not, not kind of pixel with loads of funny colours whenever you go over other things. Apart from that, you know, it's, uh, the, well, this is the BBC. I mean, I think they could have done a bit better, really. But, you know, I guess, you know, it's, it's hard to beat the original game for me. Ah, you're not supposed to do that. Obviously, um, a difficult thing to beat, the original one. But anyway, I thought that that would give you some kind of a flavour. I, I don't think I've seen this very much on YouTube yet. And it's quite a rare one. Anyway, thanks for watching.